Can you just hug a skeleton? Before we jump into reacting to Acme, we wanted to let you know that we were able to film and edit this video thanks to our Patreon. And now, to Jew with the weather. Thanks, Jason! Since we are unable to monetize any of our content uploaded to this channel, it's our Patreon that provides us the funding to continue making our channel bigger and better. Back to you, Jason. Listen, I told them that I didn't want locks on my bit. Oh, I'm live? We have a lot of interesting and exclusive content uploaded to our Patreon, which includes uncut reactions to this video, reactions to Japanese releases, live performances, and more. The full list of exclusive videos is pinned in the comment section below. Back to you, Ju. If you enjoy our content, we would really appreciate it if you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash react to the K. Of course, joining our Patreon is completely optional. You can also support us by subscribing or leaving a like and comment on this video. Back to you, Jason. Hope you enjoy the reaction. You are now reacting to the brother and sister duo, Acmu. And well, this is about to be single. so wholesome. It's so wholesome. Well, okay, it isn't wholesome, it's heart-wrenching. Okay, well then, shit. Here we go. So, when we start a relationship, we always hope for it to have a happy ending. But not all relationships end that way, some end badly, with regret and painful memories. Mm -hmm. Happening is a story about those who have been hurt and wounded from relationships that have come to an end and act like nothing happened, even though they continue to have those persisting emotions. That's really sad. Yep. Oh man. It's what happened to us. I just pretend that nothing's wrong, but... <laughs> And then the CCs are on. But nothing was oh, good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the song is composed by Millennium, Shi Huang, and the brother of the duo, Yi Chen Hyuk. He's the one who plays the guitar in the track. Hmm. Even though the music video doesn't show it. <laughs> the music Aww. video is more of a story. But yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. I love those chords. Oh, it's so like hmm. reverby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so soothing. Yeah. That's a really nice melody on top of the guitar too. It's very flowing. Oh, I hear there's like a wubby sound in the guitar too. The doubling? <laughs> Spooky. Now we added drums. Okay. It's easy going. It's, it's definitely a melody I've heard before. That's terrifying. Oh. Interesting. I like going back to the guitar. I like that a lot. Yeah. Ooh, kick drum. Come on, sing it. It actually kind of feels like an underwater sound with the fishes, a little bit. Mm. Oh, that's true. With the synth especially up high doing the kind of melody. The straight tone is so effective, right? Too. I'm really enjoying that. It has just like a soft texture that's so effective. It's attractive, right? It also leads to such a beautiful blend between the two of their voices, right? I gotta cut back at the end. Mm. That's so beautiful. You just my happening. Mm. 
That just sub bass is good with the guitar. Uh... <laughs> oh. Did you just talk a skeleton? Whoa, do you see the words? I missed something. Look at the happy ending, but they took away the Y and the D, so it's happening. Oh! That's crazy. Oh. Happening. Wow, I really, really like that. That is, that is a beautiful song. Thank you, you are the first reactor to notice that without me having to point it out. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yay, Sam. What do I win? Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should win, too. It's a really interesting sound. Also, the acoustic is going like wub 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 the whole time. Are you hearing that? Oh, the it's like reverb? Kind of panning. I, I feel, no, it's all, I feel like it's also panning forward and backwards, right? To give you a sense of uncertainty. It's not going between ears, it's like, it, I it's feel like the, like front the to like, back. I, I don't know. I don't know what the sound engineering terms is. It's either panning forward or back, or like some of the top, hot, high frequencies are getting wallowed and the low ones are getting wallowed. So it sounds like whoa, 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 whoa. I think it's the harmony that makes it successful. The harmony is so fucking good. <laughs> Why is it good? Like that kind of progression is, in, uh, especially in the chorus, is the exact progression like creep, the radio head creep. And that song is like one of my favorite songs. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so you're like a mm. nostalgia tie to it. Almost. Yeah, oh. yeah. And also the the music video like really match with the the whole vibe of the song. Like the sunlight goes into the train and it's like really beautiful. I like those like chromatic movements I can hear mm. in the progression and yeah. also like the melody. Yeah, I can hear okay. the guide tones. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the third and the seventh yeah. moving. Like chromatic movements. When you listen to the song, did you get happy vibes or sad vibes? Oh, more like happy for me, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I can definitely see like the mix of feelings. Mm. Maybe I'm just trying to brainstorm. Maybe this is stretching. But yeah, what stood out to me the most was like those chromatic movements. And you know, when you think about the word like chromatic and chrome, that's like the colors, uh. you know? So maybe like because of all those like color or chromatic movements that could represent like the mix mix of feelings like happening you know going to many places mm. like the progression maybe yeah like if if i shut my brain out to what is going on lyrically and just like listen musically it sounds like really cheerful pretty upbeat they had some like beatles chords with some like major chords going to the same bass note but a minor major so like put the minor third on it. But then lyrically, it was like, it was pretty dark. It was like, you're better than I am and I messed up, so like I'm out. And then the video, they were just like having like a ego death or something like there. Every time they thought their reality was something, it, it changed to like a different scene. And like, there were all these skeletons around them and it seemed pretty dark. And like, even the like font, or the text at the end that like right's happening is kind of like a little spooky. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but I just thought it was a interesting juxtaposition of cheerful sounds with darker content. I liked like the use of how both the, the of the two characters in this like storyline were kind of like experiencing something, seeing something, but it was actually something else. It plays into how a relationship can like turn into or how emotions can you can you can be showing some emotion or um, conveying something but it can come across as something totally different or that you experience something that you think was something in the moment but looking back at it you see 
the pain or Ooh. the the skeletons that were there all along. Um, oh wait, this song is actually really um, sad. <laughs> this song is really sad. Oh wait, so the person that's singing this is like done. Is kind of like done with the relationship, but the the person, I guess, like the other party is still like attached to the person singing this. Yeah, that's so, so sad. And I think that's accentuated <laughs> by the chords immediately. Like you have like right in the beginning, I like. So like that, that's six five six five, like of scale degrees. So it's just like, and then you have, you have it again still. So it's like, um, that kind of like like the juxtaposition of the same guitar patterns. It always gives you this um, like sonic sense of of longing for something that was. So when you go from major, oops. It's kind of like, wow, we heard that before. We've experienced this before in like a very, you know, positive, non-toxic setting, like nothing. It's like, you know, accentuating kind of what they're speaking about in the relationship. And then it goes into this unfamiliar territory that, you know, minor in like psychology is kind of associated with sadness. And then it goes down into A, from D minor to A. It's kind of giving us this falling feeling of, oh, we're staying in this solemn place from in the beginning. We heard it very happy, but we're staying in this solemn area. I feel like Af Acme has um, an ability to convey effortless emotion and just like some sort of positive melancholy throughout a lot of their songs. And this definitely also had that. And I like how the brother does the falsetto with the, the, the it was like more like a head voice. Yeah. But I can tell that in this song, he's not the most comfortable with that. Yeah, the break, I, I heard the break a little too much, I think. Mm. And it felt like he was trying it, but, uh, but I feel like he has the vocal prowess. He has the capability of doing stuff like that. But this time it, it sounded a little awkward. Maybe it's the key, maybe they should have said it in a different key. But I kind of get why they chose this key, because that guitar sound at the beginning that was, was so beautiful. nice. It was and perfect. I don't think, yeah. I think they must have toyed with it and been like, no, it, it should be an A, that's, that's the way to do it. In the chorus, they add on an upper harmony, which adds this, this kind of thickness to their sound um, compared to their pre-chorus verses, which is usually just focused on them. And I, I really like that choice because the balance of it is, is so, so nice. It's not overpowering, it's not showing off, it's, it's just there. And they add in the percussion too, like right on the chorus, whereas before it's just the guitar. And then sometimes when the girl is singing, they have an electric underneath it that just adds like this great contrast to her really light sounding, high pitched singing voice with Okay, first they do the big guitar sound, which I thought was blended very nicely. And then the drums kicked in, and I liked how it was more upbeat and uplifting, but those drums just sounded really poppy. It sounded like if a country artist or like some folk singer, like a modern folk singer, wanted to suddenly do a song that features like a, a three-piece or four-piece rock group. And, and, and so the, the drums are there, but they want to keep the drums in tune with the rest of the album. So they mix it in really sneakily. And then when we get to the drum fill, it just sounded like pretty flat. The chords and the, the rest of it still had that, that momentum. But yeah, the, the drums like can do so much for mm -hmm. this sort of song and uh, really didn't make it up there, yeah. I love the chords, but just how it's very, it's seemingly only three chords, but they're able to make something so simple, but have just one alteration in the chord progression. That's a constant pitch that you hear. It's almost like a droning. And then as soon as they take it away to double the chorus or to double the melody in the chorus, you just, that the first thing that you notice is, oh wow, something is really different and all of a sudden I'm paying attention to this line that I wouldn't have noticed and I wonder why. Well, it's because they took away something that has been in your ear the entire song and it's really, really cool. Okay, what are your thoughts? That's brilliant. Yeah, I thought that the straight tone was super effective with this and it, but there was like splashes of vibrato in the tone 
but overall I just thought it was, it captured the text really well. I don't know, it's just it was really catchy. I would listen to it all the time. Their voices flow very well with the instrumentals and the, oh, I just, organic, that's what I think. Akmu is like organic. But I do have to say something about the beginning and the chorus. So we have this, it goes into D minor, then it drops and goes to C. So in the chorus they're saying like, it's a kind of like a recollection of all the things they've been talking about. They're going from A back to like C and then bringing it back to D and D minor. It's building us back up from what we just, the ladder we just fell down. So they're saying, okay, these things just happened because of our naivety, because of our, you know, inability to have seen what was going on in the relationship mm -hmm. or to see what's happening uh, yeah. presently at the moment. But mm -hmm. like harmonically, it builds us back up. Amen. You know, like Amen. just the way that they tore us down in the beginning. I think it's a beautiful song. I think it creates a great atmosphere for feeling those feelings. It's very, cause that, that cloudy boom, like the acoustic that kind of founds Wubby immediately puts me into like a trancey kind of It's got the pondering atmosphere. Like I'm like, oh, this is that, Right, right. This is the this is the what I want to just vibe to. It's the chorus is so well timed with the percussion dropping. It's it really that was exactly the right for feelings wise. That was the exact time time where I needed like a bit more drive. Um, so I thought that was a smart musical choice. Um, it was great. Come back. Oh, cacti! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> my. Uh, <laughs> I miss Arizona. What the? <laughs>